Hi folks, Kinamics here to show you how easy it is to install a keyboard tray and arm to the underside of your desk. Please visit the Kinamics website for important information on proper ergonomics. While this video is meant to show installation instructions only, it's important to point out there's a reason that keyboard manufacturers put warning labels like this with keyboards. Plus, wouldn't it be nice to free up your workspace from the clutter by getting that keyboard off your desktop? Please note that keyboard arms are ordered separately from keyboard trays on the Kinamics website. Here are some of the tools you're going to need to install your keyboard arm. You'll need a drill. You'll need some safety glasses, and this is really important because you're going to be working upside down. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver. You'll also need a Phillips bit for your drill. You'll need a 1 8 inch drill bit. A heavy duty tape measure comes in handy and you'll need some masking tape. Even before you order your keyboard arm and tray, you'll want to take a measurement. It's critical that the tray and arm will fit underneath your desk. You'll want to measure the depth of the desk. This is usually the same as the top dimensions, but place the tape measure underneath and measure from the back wall to the front edge making sure you have plenty of room. Here's what the box looks like when it arrives. You've got some installation instructions along with the template you'll want to save. You've got a package of hardware with various screws and brackets in it. And then of course you've got our heavy duty tray mechanism and arm assembly. Let's take a minute to look at how heavy duty the Kinamics keyboard arms and tray mechanisms are constructed. This is heavy gauge metal, all powder coated with a beautiful finish. These are going to get a lot of abuse and use, so you sure want to make sure you got a heavy duty component. Here's why it's important to take that depth measurement under your desk. That whole arm assembly has got to fit underneath your desk. So you want to make sure you've got plenty of depth. So check that out before you even place your order. The keyboard arm assembly has two components. Slide the arm out of the track. Notice all of the holes configured on the track. This allows for installation on just about any desk configuration with the choice of all those holes. Let's go underneath and look at the installation of the track. This particular desk has a little bit of a unique situation in that the bottom surface is not completely in the same plane. It has a little bit of a step down. Again, this is unusual, but good to show. In this case, it's about three quarters of an inch. There's a simple fix. Just take a scrap piece of wood, the same dimension as the depth, in this case three quarters of an inch and fasten it to the underside of the desk so you have a smooth even plane. We like to use drywall screws. They're self drilling and most times you do not have to pre-drill the holes. Just make sure they're not too long. With the board in place and everything flush we're ready to screw it to the top of the desk. About four or five screws are all you need. Again, this is not a common situation. Okay, now with the surface flush, get out the template and notice there's a line across the front 
to line up with the front edge of the desk. Simply fold that over the edge of the desk along that line and you're going to want to make sure that this is in the middle of the desk or in the middle of wherever you're going to be placing your chair and use your masking tape to tape everything in place. We're going to be drilling right through this template so there's no need to mark the holes. Now that the masking tape is all in place holding the template there are two holes we're going to be drilling with our eighth inch drill bit. These are keyholes and they allow for easy installation of the track. Simply drill through the two points on the keyholes. Here's a little tip. Put tape on the end of your drill bit, in this case a half an inch down because we only want the holes one half inch deep. This is a little trick that allows you to stop the drill once you visually see that it's at the tape and you know you're at a half inch deep. Now that we've drilled the holes we can remove the template. Take the screws that come in the hardware package and screw them into the two holes you just drilled. You don't want to screw it all the way tight. You want to leave about an eighth of an inch because we're going to be sliding the track onto these two screws at the keyhole places. Now take the track and align the two keyholes with the two screws you just screwed in. Notice the larger end of the holes the head of the screw goes through and then you slide it about a half an inch in and it holds it in place. With the track held in place now all you have to do is drill four or five additional holes to screw the track down with the additional screws that come in the package. Again notice all the different hole configurations so you can mount to the bottom of any desk. Here's a good shot of what it looks like underneath and from the side. Now that the track is mounted you're going to want to slide the arm into the track. Once you've slid the arm all the way back there's a little end cap that needs to be screwed on so the arm does not come back out. Just align the holes and screw in the screws. The stop provides a stopping point for the arm assembly when it slides out. Here's a good view of the whole assembly underneath the desk surface. Now that you've mounted the arm underneath the desk, notice all the holes that line up with any keyboard platform or keyboard tray. All of the Keynamics keyboard arms and keyboard trays are compatible. Most of our competitors keyboard trays will fit on our arms as well. Simply line up all the screws and tighten everything in place. Now that everything's assembled, notice how effortlessly the platform moves. Truly fingertip control. No levers or paddles needed. You can adjust the tilt. and easily adjust the height with just your fingertips and the whole thing slides effortlessly back into place. Thanks for watching. This is Keynamics where comfort is ergonomic.